Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have something a little bit different than usual and as you can tell from the manual picture right here. Now this is a $130 kit from Banggood which gives you the motors, the ESCs, the whole frame and um, the PDB kind of ish because the PDB is just like a basic you know power distribution board that's just like built into a PCB. Now, this thing is pretty cool. Now, from researching it online, I see that it comes in other types of kits, some with the full-blown, you know, uh, flight controller, you know, the Pixhawk, I think, and, and all that kind of crazy good stuff. But Banggood has one with just the motors. Let me show you the motors here. They're pretty massive. They 840 kV. They're just big. They're just very tall. So they give you six. And everything is going to be so simple to put together because you just have these bullet connectors everywhere. You just connect it and you're good to go, which is pretty awesome, even on the ESCs. And they do give you six ESCs since this is a hex copter. So I have the craziest high hopes for this ever. And um, what I might do later on after we test this, I will switch out the ESCs. I will switch out the motors to be able to run a 4 I don't even think I need to run a 4S. Maybe just a 3S. I need to buy a big 3S now before I start building it. And I'm also going to be purchasing the Hollybro uh, kit. There's a Hollybro, uh, you know, GPS kit. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing the Maytek F7, but then I'm deciding. I, I still, to be honest, I really don't know. I really want to get that Hollybro kit uh, just because it has a GPS and it just has everything. So I think it's the Pixhawk Hollybro kit. I might pick that up and uh, see how well that does. So I don't know what to do with it yet, but I will be building this as soon as possible. Now there's something very important. Now, I want to make this into a camera drone. So I'll probably purchase the Terret gimbal uh, f attachment for quads. But as you can tell here, there's no payload area. So I don't know if we're going to have to design something or I could find an attachment or it's universal. I've never used any of these drones before. And uh, for $130, this is, this is a huge, like... Like it was, it's a nice entry point to enter these types of drones. So, you know, for, I, I just, I don't, I'm excited yet. I wish I would have ordered the other parts sooner because I want to get started on it as soon as possible. But it's saying here two to the three S LiPo, it was saying it could do up to 15 minutes of flight time. Well, it doesn't really say what kind of battery, but yeah. So it says the maximum flying weight is 2.5 kilograms. So 2,500 grams. Um, which is pretty good, I think. I don't know. Uh, so it's a 540 wheelbase. It is a hexcopter, as you can tell. They also give you the props, but they only give you one set of props. And they are 10-inch props. They're pretty big. They're very big, actually. So, yeah, these are double the size of the 5-inch props that we use. And it's a 4.5-inch uh, pitch here. And um, it's very well packaged. As you can tell, I haven't even opened the manual here. And um, I'm really excited for this one because it's something new. And I actually get a lot of emails, people telling me, can you please do a camera drone build? And this is, I guess, this is our platform here. We're going to start with this guy uh, since it's very well priced. It comes with all the more expensive things that you really need. So all we're missing here, what I believe was what we're missing, will be the flight controller. The GPS, I think th those come together, basically. You could probably put any of them. But I still haven't made up my mind on what to use. Should I use the things that I already have in the shop? Or should I just uh, go ahead and get that new Hollybro Pixhawk thingy? Uh, but I think I want to get that because it's just a nice, complete kit with the GPS and everything. And uh, for some reason, I trust it. I don't know why I trust it. I'm not saying you should trust it. I'm just It just feels good. I don't know. I just look at the post and I'm just like, I trust you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I mean. But yeah, we'll see how well that does. And maybe I'll try to write Holy Bro, see if they could maybe give us one. So that would be pretty cool. And just do a video on it, how to set it up, because that would be pretty interesting. But the gimbal is pretty expensive, the gimbal. I'm going to get a, like a GoPro Session gimbal. As you can tell here, we have a little bunch of stickers. I'm going to get a Pro GoPro Session gimbal. Uh, I think the Tarot one on Banggood, it's around 300 bucks. I think. It's pretty expensive. But at first, I need to figure out, once I put this together, I will have the build uh, video everything for this. Uh, but right now, I just really wanted to show you guys because a lot of people are actually emailing me when they saw that I was getting this on the Banggood thingy, uh, on the Banggood window shopping. So this is it here. And it comes with everything, really. You have all your hardware. You have everything. You have your arms, your landing gear. Uh, you're just missing the flight controller. And um, the I think the bail. I don't know. 
anything about the payload area like I mentioned so maybe we need to make a custom payload area payload area means just like two bars that go where's the picture here like another two bars that would be here so you can attach like a gimbal to or attach whatever you want so yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna use the Territ gimbal hopefully or see if I find a pretty good one I, I really don't understand anything gimbals but I want one just to take a GoPro session basically because that's what I have a GoPro session and uh, it could just I could just you know control it and I do have a Horus so I do have a lot of switches to play with so that'll be pretty fun and interesting and um, I'm very curious and I have no idea what to expect here at all I'm also going to check some T motor of this size, but I have no idea. It doesn't say anything about the size here, but, uh, well, I might plug these in no, two 10 inches way too big for here. I'm not going to put 10 inch props on this guy. Um, so it's 800 KV. We know that we'll just take a measurement and kind of I'll open these and get a measurement of the, uh, stator and everything inside. And we'll figure out the size. And then maybe later on, we could do like a massive upgrade to this guy. But I don't think he'll even need it because I'm not even going to fly it that much. So I think it's really going to be a waste of my money to get it just bigger motors. Unless one of them is damaged or something, then I'll replace all of them. ESCs, I will definitely possibly replace. But they're pretty fat. I mean, look at that. They have huge for 18 amp ESCs that run 3S. They're pretty insane, actually. They're pretty big. Look at look just huge. And they have a capacitor on board. So yeah, so I don't know if I'll replace these. These might be good. We'll, we'll figure everything out very soon. Um the motors are a bit kind of strange. You put this on the motor and then you put one of these on, kind of like a when you're doing, you know, the, the, the couplers for the servos. You put that in to hold it into the motor. And obviously, you put your prop here and here's your prop nut. So, yeah, I just saw this right now, actually. And you just get a bunch of everything that you need, all the hardware. Everything has numbers. So, I'm guessing every bag has a number. So, I'm guessing that the, um, what is it, that the user manual here will actually tell you which bag to get the product from like I'm guessing this is your battery strap that's a very tiny one obviously I'll be changing this but I don't know what size battery to use is it 2500 milliamps 2000 milliamp 3s so I have no idea I'm gonna look for a quick uh, distributor here in Europe even though I'm gonna pay a trillion for it but I just needed to get here quick and I'll uh, probably get that Holly bro kit by DHL will be here for in three days so possibly next week we'll be building this and taking it out plus obviously summer just started so this is going to be awesome we'll do the first test flights i guess and then i'll go ahead and figure out the payload area and see how we're going to add the uh gimbal to so yeah this is this is this actually seems like a fun project something new actually i'm ready to tackle this and well that's all i got to say right now guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video this is the kit it comes with everything you need as you can tell right here uh the arms the landing gear but i don't see a payload area i don't know how to attach it and there's the pictures don't really show anything about it but i saw that you could get a gimbal for it but i, I just it's just very vague everything is very vague so we'll figure it out once we put it together and uh, i'll let you know how that'll work out so overall um that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll leave a link to it down below if you want to go ahead and check out more things on it the user manual is also in the link so when you go down in the description you could find the user manual so you could go ahead and start reading the user manual and seeing what it comes with however this kit the one that i'm linking down below that i got does not have the flight control on board but it gives you the motors props and the frame and the esc uh which is plenty good for 130 dollars i mean 130 dollars is giving you six motors a big frame 10 inch props and six 15 amp fat ESCs. So it's pretty, I say it's a good deal. I mean, at least for me, it's a good deal. Um, I don't know what you guys are going to think, but yeah. So, yep, that's it guys. So I'll let you know how this is going to go. And uh, if you guys are interested, we could do a lot more of these. I'll start even looking for more of these, but let's just see how this one's going to turn out. And if you guys have any recommendations for flight controllers for this build, I'm listening. Just let me know down in the comment section. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's it. That's going to conclude it, guys. So please consider joining my Patreon. It'll really support the channel. I do a lot of giveaways. And, you know, you could also... It's very easy to win something. I mean, I don't have many Patreons. And everyone that wins just says, Oh, my God, I've never won anything in my life. So it's very... Yeah, so your odds of winning are very good. And uh, you could also use the affiliate links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And... That's it, guys. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.